uh, I think most of you might remember my cartridge storage. I did a video on it. Oh gosh, it's been months ago since I haven't crafted in months. And how I made my folder, I found these boxes. These are the 9L nine, nine boxes from um, Staples, and they have them on sale this week for $5 a piece. They're regularly 10 and uh, when I saw the sales ad, I thought, well, I need to go get some more because I'm actually keeping my ribbon in these now, too. Uh, and I had gotten my tabs at Walmart, but guess what? Walmart doesn't carry them anymore. But I did find these little post-it tabs. Let's see. There we go. And uh, they, they work just as well, and they're repositionable. So if you need to remove it so you can change where it's at, then it makes it a lot easier. Uh, hang on, I'll show you the package of them. And the reason I'm making this video is because I'm now storing my cartridges differently too to match these. But these are what the little post-it tabs look like. And it comes in a little uh, package like this. And uh, I think it was, I, I bought these at Staples because I was there, but I know Walmart carries them too. And they're like $4 for 24 tabs. And then you just pull them out, pull it out, and the next one pops out. Uh, so that's, how, that's the tabs I'll be using from now on since they don't carry the others. But what I wanted to show you, I had posted on Facebook, like I said, I think I said, um, that I was storing my cartridges differently. I found these boxes. These are the 4L boxes, and they were $6.99 at my Staples. And I happened to run across them, and I thought, I wonder if my cartridges will fit in them. Well, I got home, and lucky me, they fit just fine. And the cool thing is... Then I'm going to throw that lid over there. Let me pop this up here. If you will look and see, they actually stack right on top of each other. You can hear my chairs, my chairs squeaking? Uh, so it makes it really nice for where I want to stack them at on top of my IKEA unit. Um, so they're the same size, the, the width and the height are the same size as the boxes I keep my cartridges in but they're just shorter and these are my cartridges and a long time ago I came up with a little cut file where I store my cartridge in this little box and I just used the cut them out of manila folders and that post is on my blog and I'll link it uh, when I make this post but there was some space and I didn't like the cartridges moving around so if you will look, you can see where I've made these dividers. Oh, look, guys, my wart's gone, too. Ding dong, the wart is dead. Yeah, remember I had that last spring or last winter? Um, so anyway, so I don't mind seeing my hand. See my lovely hand? Yes. Um, so I made these dividers, and I actually made those out of shh, priority mailboxes. For the dividers, what I did was I... Uh, cut the cardboard at three and a quarter inches and I scored at three inches and then no an inch and a half and an inch and three quarters and I scored both sides so it'd be easier to fold and then I also cut a little piece and I cut this at like an inch and a quarter to put in here for the divide for the divide put that this is hard to film like this um, for the divider and then what I did, see if I can do it. Let me move this camera down a little bit. Uh, just got my ATG gun. Handy dandy ATG gun. Everybody needs one. Run tape down it. And also you can use the, the red line tape or the terrifically tacky tape. And it works really well too because it's... Uh, it holds a lot better actually uh, but once you get it in there it's a tight fit and it doesn't seem to matter and then I got them lined up and then just folded it over and pressing down and then I have my dividers the the length of the divider on my cutter was at 22 centimeters but we will get a ruler here and it looks like it is like eight and five eight or eight eight and five eighths inches length um, because that's what fit th this box is actually made to hold a ream of paper I think it said on there um, so it's a little bit wider than 
eight and a half inches. But as you can see, it makes them really nice and neat. They don't move around. And what I like too is that the lids are locking. Uh, so, you know, it's not going to just spill, you know, if you accidentally drop it. And like I said, I really like it because it stacks nice and neat right on top of my box for my folders. So I've got my folders and cartridges. Oh, and for those of you who are wondering, there are one, two, three, four, five, six rolls, roll, rows, not rolls, of uh, cartridges, and each row is 14 cartridges. So I think it was like uh, 74 maybe cartridges. I forgot. I had counted and I forgot. So you can get 74 cartridges in one little box, and, it, and you can just see them really easily and grab what you need. Oh, and I used my label maker, this Dynamo label maker, to label the little cart boxes. And I did use a corner edger on those because on the cut file, they do cut like little sharp corners like that. That cartridge was actually on loan to somebody. That's why I have that dummy one in there. And uh, so that way you don't, you know, keep hitting it or whatever, getting those nasty paper cuts. But did y'all see that or not? Okay. Um, this this video is going to have to have a lot of editing. But anyway, I had some questions on Facebook about it, so I thought I would uh, make this video and show you guys. And I'm sorry about all the stuttering, stuttering and stammering because I haven't made a video in so long. I'll be lucky if I even get to post this sucker. Talk to y'all later. Bye.